31 News at 9.30 starts right now. We see it year after year in Colorado. 420 turning into a large smokeout on the campus of CU Boulder. Well, now it seems it's not just in Boulder, but across the state, more people are putting down the bottle and picking up the bong. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Libby Weaver. And I'm Ron Zapolo. New numbers show Colorado was the only state to report a de decrease in people who think they're at risk to binge drinking. However, the same survey found we had a significant increase in teens and adults who say they smoke pot. Fox 31's Julie Hayden is live in Denver with more. Julie. Well, Libby, here at Governor's Park, big crowd on what is really a great summer evening. But according to this national survey, people here are likely to be much more mellow than in previous years. As you said, this new national survey shows people in Colorado less likely to binge drink, more likely to smoke pot. Now, is that a good thing? Well, that depends on who you ask. Bridget Schultz manages a local restaurant and bar. It doesn't surprise her that a new survey shows Coloradans are less likely to binge drink than they were a few years ago. People definitely will come here and drink, you know, for multiple hours, but I don't think that it's to the extent where they're just drinking to get wasted. You know, it's kind of more of a social thing, and they're just more here to have fun. And it doesn't surprise her that the same survey shows Coloradans are more likely to smoke pot than they were before. I mean, I know a lot of people that do it recreationally, and I think that it is better for you than drinking, obviously, um, because I do think that you can control it a little bit more, um, and I don't think that the side effects are quite as harmful. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health found that Colorado was the only state where there was an increase in the number of people who said they were less likely to binge drink now than they were in 2006. And Colorado was one of only seven states that saw a significant increase in the number of people who say they are more likely to smoke pot at least once a month. People are starting to recognize that there's a way to go about having fun and getting intoxicated, but you don't necessarily need to get drunk and cause serious problems. Divert heads a Denver-based pot legalization group. He believes smoking pot is a lot less harmful than drinking, especially binge drinking. I think it's clear not only based on um, that, on, on arrests going down in Denver, also on this data from the survey, that... Um, People are changing. Times are changing. More people are coming to accept that marijuana is part of our society. It's safer than alcohol. Now, you know, the local cops we talked to disagreed with that. They say, for instance, if you were to make pot legal, there would probably, like alcohol is, there would probably be more marijuana-related driving problems. And they say it is illegal still in Colorado, so there are all of those other crimes that go along with making and selling it. They say that while it's a good thing that binge drinking is down, they don't think it's a good thing that smoking pot is up. Ron and Libby. All right, Julie, thanks. Comrade.